Hey everyone, it's Dan and Phil here for Aussie Garage and welcome to today's episode. We're here at uh, Rusty's house today. We're going to have a look at his uh, GT uh, Tribute, uh, XT GT Tribute, and this thing is stunning. Mm. Alright, that's enough of that. Hey Rusty, how's things mate? How are you? Good, Good to meet you. Phil mate. How you going? Show us your ride buddy. Guys, it's Phil from Aussie Garage here. I'm here with Rusty. Now, Rusty, we met you at the All Ford Day this year, um, which was uh, what, a couple of weeks now, um, yeah. and we saw this thing here and had to have a chat with you about it. So let's go a bit more of a deeper dive in this. Tell us about how you actually got this car in the first place. Uh, a year ago, I bought the Shell for five grand, just a rusted Shell, XR Shell, from Bedford Dale, and um, Brought it home and then started getting into it. So once you've got the car home, yep. right, we've seen pictures of how bad it actually looked, yep. um, and which is on your channel as well, uh, which we'll talk about a bit more too. Um, how much did you, work did you have to do on the car to get it to look like this? Uh, well, for the first three months I was um, welding, welding 12 hour days, seven days a week, I didn't stop for anything. Just, well, five minutes, my wife would make me something to eat, come straight back out. 12 hour days, doing sill panels, door skins, front rails, um, tie bar, um, inner and outer quarter panels, floor pans. Um, just, it was really bad rusted shell, so I'm, I had a lot of work to do. So I just wanted to go hard and get all that done, and yep. then I could concentrate on um, prepping the body for paint. So, so we know that this is, uh, originally was an XR. Yeah. But you've done it as a XT GT tube rig. Yep. Um, and it looks sensational. Everything you've done is like to spec. You drew your inspiration from an old car you used to own when yeah. you were about 18 or so, weren't you? Yeah, 18 to 20, 21. I had a, um, an XT Fairmont and um, had so many great times in that, being young and silly and, and you know, getting in trouble in it and just always dreamed I still owned it, but um, I'd wake up and I didn't. And I dreamed that my dad, I had put it at the back of my dad's house and I believed the dream was real and then I wake up and I didn't have it. So I had to do something about it. I, I built this car and I don't have that dream anymore and I'm never selling it and you can bury me in it. Um, it's the car that I've always loved and I built it identical to the one I had. Yep, in, uh, identical looking to the one I had in, um, in 1992. And um, just with a, with a better engine, better running gear, better interior, and you know, bigger wheels, and and better better body, you know. When you were looking at trying to get all the bits and pieces for it, so who were the main people that you leaned on to get all the parts you required for this car? Well, I um, I sourced most of the parts from Tony at Subaru Falcon Spares in Armidale in WA, yep. and um, all the other parts from eBay, and um, like my list in e of eBay was like this long and the parts lady would rock up here with boxes and knew her by name and every day she'd bring boxes and I'd put them upstairs in the attic and, and she'd follow my build. She'd come yep. up and say, look what I've done today to the post lady yep. and uh, show her what I've done because she had an XT wagon. Oh, nice. yep. When she was um, 10 years ago, she had an XT wagon. She had all great memories in it and, and then so she had an in the, post, the post lady had an interest in, in this XT, so yep. that was great. And she knew if I wasn't home, she'd leave it here for me, which is great because you don't have to go pick it up. Yeah. And um, all the, yeah, the parts, Tony Subaru, I'd, I'd look through, you know, 20, 30 sets of, of these moulds and find the best one and clean it up. And, and um, most of the other parts, you know, eBay. Yep. eBay, 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 uh, brand new bumpers from Tony. I, I chrome nothing. Everything I got 
Is either new or, new or second hand. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Like the rear window is the actual window that was in the car. Yep. Because I didn't know that. I, I still don't know for sure, but someone said XY windows fit the X, uh, XT. I didn't know, so I I put the I cleaned the old one up and put it in. And yep. there's a few marks and that on it. But, oh, well, if the car's 57 years old, you've got to have some originality in it. With, yeah, uh, fair enough. You so know. it's still got the original front windscreen as well? Brand new front window. Okay, so that's, and that's done. Brand new, um, brand new windows all around from okay. Tony Subaru. Yep, like perfect. Like a thousand bucks for a whole set of windows. Yep, great. Um, from Rare Spares, Sony Subaru. So. You've got the 12 slots, which are always my favourite. Yeah. Like, I've got them on my car. I love them. So what size are we running on these? Um, the rears are um, 15 by 10, 295. Yep. And... Um, the fronts are 15 by 7, 245. Okay, awesome. And I yep. sourced the old TAs because I, I wanted the 70s look with um, tramp rods and, and the lettering. So I, um, I'm, I'm so grateful that I got, um, was able to get brand new tyres and brand new rims in the original look from the 70s and 80s. So yeah. that was a bonus. And the hubcaps just clip onto the rim. The old, in the old days, you used to have to bolt another piece on that went on and the hubcaps would always fall off yeah, yeah. whereas these don't as far as the paintwork you've got this nice neat tidy even down to the gaps the gaps are perfect you would have had to spend a lot of time on these panels yeah like gaps like we put the door on and then we'd stand back me and my son and my other son and wife and then we'd, we'd I'd say do you think that gap is absolutely perfect and we'd stand there and we'd, we'd go hmm put a get a bit of orange tape and just mark like a few mil here and there and then I, the next day I'd I'd grind that off and weld weld it up and and make it absolutely spot on and that's like for weeks that's yep. all I did was gap it up and make sure it was absolutely unpickable because yep. I didn't want anyone saying oh the gaps are wrong because I'm the one who goes to a show all the time and looks at gaps and says that's not right that's not right that's not right yep. having 27 years as a panel beater um, I've been out of it for 10 years, but I was panel waiting for 27 years and yeah, I just have that enough. eye, you know? Yeah. What other kind of things did you uh, decide to put on this one that you didn't with the other ones as far as the outside of the car? Well, um, uh, my original one had 14s, had 14 by 8s on the back with two 6.5s and 14 by 7s on the front with two 4.5s. But this one's 15s. Um, the front spoiler, I... Well, I had it on the other one, but it smashed off because it was so low. Yep. So I made sure this one was heaps higher. And, uh, and this, obviously, well, the outside, the other one had pearls and stuff in the, in the, in the paint. Yep. And this one, I just wanted jet black. Um, okay. no, no pearl or anything in it. Perfect. And a shaker. I wanted, always wanted a shaker. I had an, it, my first car was an XY, um, a black XY back in 88. And I, I loved them. I just love the way they move when you're driving. Yep. And it, it's like a life. It's like it's got a light. It's alive, you know. Definitely. And, um, and I thought it's, it's going to be subtle because it's on a black car. It's sort of going to blend in. It's not going to stand out. Yep. So I definitely decided I wanted to do it. And I put the original XYGT brace kit underneath. Okay, perfect. Which yep. you can have a look later. Okay, Rossi, what I think we should do is let's go have a look at this engine bay. <laughs> Three five one. Yep, three five one Cleveland. Um, the, it's it's got roller rockers and flat top pistons and the high rise air gap elder brock extractors and uh, yeah, that's it's just pretty stock I reckon, but it goes really good. Okay, so you haven't put any for like forged internals or any like a lumpy cam or anything through no, it. No, the cam's the the middle one. Like, okay. I think not the not the um, lumpiest and not the mildest. It's a couple in. Yep. Just, I didn't really want it. Um, I just wanted, just like, just nice, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair Breezy. enough. So, what made you go to Cleveland rather than a Windsor? Um, I, I really like the Cleveland. Yeah, yep. just personal preference. Yeah, no, that's fair and, enough. And um, yeah, and because the, the XYGT had the Cleveland and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Original radio or aftermarket? Um, this is a new um, aftermarket um, aluminium. Uh, heavy duty three core radiator. Apparently, I was told uh, you won't overheat in it yep. or anything, so I, I went for it. Perfect. And uh, especially with the air conditioning, 
Um, I've had air conditioning on on a 35 degree day, blaring for hours driving it, and uh, it gets to half. It doesn't ever go over half, well, which is fine. great. It only gets to half when you get the lights idling. Yeah. As soon as the lights hit green, it actually goes back under. So, so perfect. perfect. Yeah. Because back in the 90s and stuff, I had they, all my old cars overheated. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, as they did once you started getting in bloody temperature or in a queue or sitting behind everyone yeah. in traffic. So that's another technology that's upgrade they've done, yeah, which is great. Perfect. <laughs> that's what you want. That's what you want. Is that running uh, ice or MSD or just Yeah, MSD. Ignition? It's yep. MSD ignition. The, the yep. box is hidden behind there. Okay. And, nice. And, um, yeah, they definitely wanted the electronic ignition and um, instead of the um, distributor. Because yep. in the past I've had, you used to always have to pull that off and clean it and... Yeah, with electronic ignition, it's just, boom, it's, you know, yeah, yeah. great spark. And as far as the carby, what are you running? Uh, 650, um, double pumper, mechanical, um, brawler. Uh, Holly brawler? Yeah. Yep, cool. Like, everything in here is just perfectly neat, mate. Like, even with the hosing, you've done it everywhere. Yeah, it's all was, in the um, right spot. I had to, uh, the guy at Lions Air... Yep. When I, I did it, I was all unsure, so I had to. He gave me um, dummy hoses, and I came back and, and, and marked them with tape and measured where I wanted to go. And I got special um, angle ones to go back into the car to the, to the um, unit. Yep. And, um, and then I took it to him, and he made them all up and very professional lines there. And nice. Cuter. And I wanted it to look neat, and, and I didn't, because I've seen cars with air cons that it just doesn't look right, it doesn't yep. look really nice under there. So I wanted this, I really wanted it to look nice. Air I used the Mustang, um, Mustang air conditioning unit with the receiver dryer. Perfect. And cut it all, modified it and made it all neat. Yep. Yeah, the Gearbox C4 with the cooler, with a, a shift kit in it. No high style or anything. What do you got in the, is that a 9-inch? It's a 9-inch or... uh, True Track LSD. Okay, cool. So that only kicks in LSD when you boot it. When, yep. you, um, when it's on the hoist or something, it's not LSD. Yep. When you turn a corner, it's not because you don't want it locker like the old... Yep. So they've, there's another technology upgrade that they've done. Yeah, they've made perfect. this beautiful true yeah. track. And then also okay. put the with the bonnet, put the um, XY GT. I put the proper brace kit in. Yeah. Because I've seen these cut out and they they look dodgy when you don't have it like that. You know. And this is a non-genuine, brand new XR XT bonnet. Okay. So, um, and then I put the brace kit in, and yep. then had to cut the sides of it because the bonnet was too long being non-genuine there's always there's always a modification everything you do yep. i can tell you when you when you when i built this car it was always two steps back one step forward and nothing ever fits yep. even if you've got a brand new part it never fits you've got to make it fit yep. everything you got to make fit yeah and even you do it up and it doesn't it's not right you got to you got to think of outside the box to get it perfect on yep. everything yeah, I've been told that a few things, even with uh, the, some of the panels you get yep. from Red Spares. Yeah. Like there's, you've got to shave it off or you clear it, yeah. make that clearance right Shop just it, to get it perfect. It, yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, Rossi, so tell us about what you had to do with the interior here, mate. Um, well, the interior was uh, the two front seats I got from Tony at Subaru. Yep. And, um, and they were already X, they were XY GT. Cause I, nice. I chose XY GT because I've always really loved the, the pattern more than the XT. And um, the rear seat, uh, well, I found out that they were very hard to get. Yep. So I had to search on, um, on eBay. And I found a rear seat in Queensland and I, I bid on it and bid on it to the last second, put a ridiculous bid in the, at the end, and I won it for like 1500 bucks. Okay, nice. It, I actually made it go up from 700 to 1500 in the last 10 seconds. Yeah. But I won it. And I thought, well, I've got it now. Yep. But it was white and it needed redoing. So then I took it to the, uh, my canning motor trimmers. Um, he did it to XYGT specs. Perfect. And so I, I, I got one, which with the, the fold down and everything. XT GT dash. I, I, I modified and fitted an XYGT eight grand taco. Okay. I had to cut and weld, cut and shut the back of the, the cluster and, um, and put a base for the XY one in and weld it. and. And so I've got an XY, I've got an eight grand taco with an XY because nice. they don't make XT brand new ones. So yes. when you pretty much got to pick a lot of XY stuff when you, if you want new. Yep. And I've got an XY mile per hour um, speedo. I did buy the brand new um, temperature, fuel and oil pressure gauges okay, on nice. eBay. Yep. 
Yep. Um, all the knobs, Tony Subaru helped me get the, all the switches and stuff. Perfect. And uh, you can buy the brand new wood grain um, and the glove box I painted myself and you can buy the new GT badge on eBay. Yeah. I've put a, I got a lock, a brand new lock on eBay as well. Um, the, the, the XY GT console and I chopped nice. and modified with a B&M shifter to sit just under the uh, 65 Mustang air conditioning system that yep. fitted in perfect. Oh, the door trims was from John on eBay. Okay. He makes brand new um, door trims. So I had to wait like four months. I ordered them and told him what I wanted I had to wait four months. But then they came without this top chrome bit, which yep. I had to then, because the XTGTs have the top chrome, and then uh, Tony Subaru, he had four of them that he, he gave me and I did it. And then you can buy brand new armrests, brand new um, inside levers, brand new winders, Brand new knobs, brand new rings, brand new rubbers, brand new windows, brand new rubbers here. These quarter windows are like impossible to get, but you know, I had to pay like a thousand dollars each. Well, my wife said she wanted the quarter windows to work. Yep. She wanted to, to un these little ones, she wanted to and open it up and I said, well, yeah, the second hand ones are all flogged out and loose and they, they leak air and I wanted brand new ones. so. Yeah. Yeah, what That's I couldn't right. get, what I couldn't get brand new, I got second hand. Yep. And um, if it didn't, if it wasn't up to scratch, then I'd just have to search. Actually, I'm still finding things that I could, I could now, uh, after the job's done, I could go, oh, gee, that's better than mine. I could swap that on mine. Yeah, fair so enough. So you're always looking. Yeah, definitely. And uh, the wiring, the whole wiring in the whole car is brand new. Um, nice. There's a guy in Perth that I, I got referred to from Tony. And, um, and he, he, I gave him all my old six cylinder wiring harness and he made it brand new XT GT wiring harness. Perfect. So, and then he came and fitted it at the time. So I'm never gonna have an electrical problem or I've, everything works. I've never had an electrical problem, which is the first car ever in this, this era that I've had that everything works. Yep. Lights, and it, oh, it's just, it's just, I feel so great that everything works on it. That's it. Electrically. And now I see you've got the original stereo in it, but is that the aftermarket one with the Bluetooth system? Yeah, and yeah, the, um, it? the stereo looks period correct, but it's actually Bluetooth and um, you can use Spotify and um, my son's given me all these, um, told me how to do that. And so I can listen to Black Sabbath and Pink Floyd and everything. And, and it feels like I'm still living in the 70s. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's it. I was trying to get in to get it licensed because I didn't want to run it on Club Rego. I wanted it full license. Yep. Um, and so, yeah, they went over it with a fine tooth comb. They checked everything. They drove it. They had torches. They had all the glasses on. They, they went over the whole thing and they, they passed it first time. Yep. So Perfect. I'm happy about that. <laughs> all right. Nice. All right. That was icing well, on the cake. I reckon we should bloody uh, crack the, uh, the boot open, mate, and have a look in there. No worries. Just pull the lever. Nice. So pretty much a standard, original looking boot. Yeah, um, with with the exception of um, an XYGTHO thirty-six gallon tank. Okay. Um, so I, I the spare wheel just goes up there. Yep. But nice. um, all neat. It's pretty standard. Perfect. And I love how you got the overriders at the back on and at the front. These things were just a classic look on these cars. Yeah, definitely. You know, they're perfect. And you know, the other thing I notice is. The chrome that you got on the back of the boot here, they're pretty much near impossible to get, mate. So how are you getting your hands on these things? Um, well, I made them. I, um, I sourced the chrome from an XT Falcon 500, the actual um, the mould that goes along the top. Okay, yep. So it's a period correct mould. And then, um, as you can see here, um, some moulds that I made. Um, I, I just I, I shape them, get them to the right, get them to the right size. Yep, perfect. And um, and then get them anodized and um, uh, help out a few other, other a few other fellas who um been chasing them for years. Perfect. And um, they can put it yeah, on their car. That's and, it. So you know, I'm happy, and then I make a lot of other people happy. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's just it, mate. I mean, like anything that's rare, if anyone can reproduce some of these parts, the better off we are. Yeah. Yeah. Like the um the fog lights. Um, are impossible to get. Yep. So I sourced the base from England on eBay, and then I, I bought um, 16 
sets of second hand um, glass yep. with the with the other with the bases with the rusted bases because the actually says the original XTGT lights are made in England. Yes. So I just went straight to England. Yep. On eBay and um, I cleaned all them out and Perfect. made sets of these and I sent one set off to Tasmania um, a few days ago. Nice. And helped someone out who was building one. He was yeah, looking yeah. for a set of Lucas Rangers for the front because yep. the Rangers set off the front and it give it a real period GT XT yeah. look. Well, I think there's only a thing to do, mate, and is to uh, let's take it for a spin. No worries. Well, we've looked over your car, we've looked at everything in here, gone for a bloody amazing ride and see what she can do on the road and she doesn't miss a beat, mate. So it's perfect. You've built her well, you've built her tough and she's going to last the test of time, mate. So Thanks. look, we really appreciate you having Aussie Garage out here and letting us interview you about your car and your ride and um, we'll put it up on our YouTube channel. But you've also got a YouTube channel as well, mate. So tell us about that quickly. Yeah, I just do a few um, videos and um, nothing too fancy. And there's a few videos of the car on um, on Rusty 71 nice. at YouTube. So it's two R's, R R U S T Y 71, at um, on YouTube. So and you can also look up X T G T tribute. You just type in that and look for the black one. And it comes up. Yeah, so, perfect, yeah. mate. So. We'll definitely get on there, make sure we're subscribed as well, which I think we are already. But this thing's been sensational, mate. So thanks a lot for having us here. No worries. Thanks for coming. Awesome, thanks, Aussie Garage. You guys have been great. 